Okay, Pace Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today, I want to bring you guys behind the scenes of the home theater and kind of show you what's going on. There's been a lot of upgrades to the home theater this year, and there's still going to be a lot more. And every year, I make a huge 2021 grand room tour. I've been doing room tours every year for the last maybe four years now. And so one is coming up very soon, but there's still some changes that I want to make. This change is going to be related to the Dolby Atmos section. So what I've done, I went out and purchased another set of SVS Prime Elevations. Now these are in gloss white. I have some Prime Elevations already in the room now and they are in gloss black. But at the time I had different speakers when I purchased the Atmos. Now I have an all white set of Canton Ventos. So I thought it would, be make, it would make sense to buy some gloss white SVS as my Prime Elevations. Now, now another reason and the main reason why I bought the elevation is because in the front stage on the front height I have the black elevations but then on the rears the rear Dolby Atmos speakers are white Canton AR800 so sonically there is a tonal difference between the two that I can hear. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the black speakers, the black S3 Prime Elevations, and I'm going to move them to the back. And then I'm going to put the white speakers in their place in the front. So the AR800s will no longer be in my Atmos section. I'm thinking about moving them down to a 7.2.4, but we'll talk about that later. So the reason why I'm doing this is one, aesthetically, my speakers are white and I have black speakers sitting in the ceiling. And then the main reason why I'm doing this is because I'm gonna take the black prime elevations and instead of hanging them on the wall, pointing down at my position, I'm going to put them in the ceiling over my head where they're supposed to be. And the reason why I decided to do this is because the Canton AR800s, they don't angle down very much. They may be, maybe something like this, if you guys can see, they don't angle down very much. Um, so they're actually firing completely over my head and they're not pointing anywhere near my listening position. And they're really good at my speakers, but if you're not placed correctly, then you're gonna miss the whole, the nuances and the whole effect completely. So the elevations allow me to hang them in any, um, any order I'd like to. On the wall, I can put them on top of the speaker, or I can hang them downward from the ceiling pointed at my position, and that's what I'm going to do. So today, I'm gonna take the elevations from the back, put them on the ceiling, and then I'm gonna put the new white ones to the front. So stay tuned for that. Now, first things first, we need to get these unboxed. I'm not gonna do a full review on these. I've done it before on the channel already, but we need to get these open. I haven't seen the Prime Elevations in a gloss white, but I've seen their SB1000 in gloss white as well as their Prime Satellites. And it's a really nice color. So it should match well with my Canton Vento gloss piano white. So if you are interested in the full review of these, I definitely recommend um, watching some of my older videos, I have several of them on the channel. So if you want to more, go more in depth with this, you can. One of the things that really separates the Parm Elevations from some of the rest of the companies out there that do elevation type speakers are these right here. These are some really nice rubbery type inserts that go into the speaker um, when you hang it from the ceiling. So during loud impacts and, and, and high volumes, your speakers don't rattle free from the brackets that they're hanging from and fall off and hit you or something in the head or whatever the case is. These little rubber stops basically just insert into the speaker um, and keeps them literally from being able to vibrate and fall from the ceiling. So it's a really nice um, little feature on the elevations that I'm gonna be definitely utilizing. Cause like I said, these will be hanging from the ceiling just about directly over my head. So we don't want that falling off and hitting me, hitting anybody else or the projector that's also gonna be just underneath it. So we'll unbox one of these for you guys and let you guys see it. for me they all use the same brackets regardless of the color or anything like that so taking these off is really really simple for me just gonna grab it bring it up 
And if it lets me, there we go. I got it. So we're gonna unscrew these screws here. Take the speaker wires out. And there we go. So now I just need to grab the other one, the white one, and just stick it right in place and we're good to go. Easy peasy. Look how close they are in color. It's so close. The SVS is just a hair darker, just a hair, but you wouldn't be able to tell if I didn't tell you. It's perfect. All right, guys, so the fun part, we're gonna mount these on to the ceiling now. And I think how I wanna do it, I'm gonna put them up there pointing downward. I was gonna put them sideways firing towards the listening position this way, but I'm gonna have it above my head. And the reason why I wanna do that is so I can differentiate the sound effects from the side surrounds and what's coming from above me. So I'm gonna use these uh, frames here as reference. I'm gonna line it up right there on a the ceiling pointing directly down to the listening position so the whole couch will be enveloped in sound. And then I'll still be able to differentiate what's coming from there versus what's coming from there. And then I'll talk about later what I'm gonna do with those. So how I'm gonna map it out, I'm gonna take the bracket here and I'm gonna mount it up in the ceiling and then I'll use a pencil to kind of draw out where my holes are gonna be and then we'll go from there. All right, we have them up in place. You can see what I did is I took the black grills off the black speakers and put them on the white speakers. So now they look kind of similar as my Cantons do there. So that worked out very, very well. So those are back in place now. And then behind us, I put the black ones there. And of course they have the white grills there. So that's whatever, it is what it is. But I took off the Canton ARs that were sitting where those black screws are now. And I put the SVS there. I made them a little bit wider than what I wanted to, uh, what I said I was going to do, because the seating position here, I didn't want it to be directly above my head. I wanted it to be off to the side and above my head. So now I have a distinctive clear image from left and right versus just a whole bunch of sound coming from the top of my head. Now I know exactly where it's supposed to be. So there's enough width in between the two that I have a pretty good idea of where the Atmos speakers are coming from, but they don't change um, the sound that's coming out of my surround left and right. So I can distinctly hear what's going on. So it looks so much better, especially on the front stage here, and it should perform a lot better. So um, in a future video, I'll run some Atmos tests and I'll kind of tell you guys what I, uh, what I think about it um, and, and if it made a big difference. Now, what am I gonna do with the Canton AR800s? These are $600 a pair. Well, when I bought them, they were, they're a lot more now. So what am I gonna do with these? I'm not just gonna just get rid of them and they're not gonna stay here. I'm thinking about putting them here and here and having a 7.2.4 and those will now be my surround back speakers. They're so flat against the wall that I should be able to put them kind of the same width as the height speakers there and put them right behind the couch, pull the couch up a little bit because it needs to be pulled up anyway. And then my speakers can be kicked out wide, put one there put one over there, something like that. I don't know yet. Maybe it's not a big enough space. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. I'm going to try it though. Nonetheless, doesn't hurt. But tell me what you think guys in the comment section down below. Should I try the Kenton ARs down here as my surround back left and right? Or should I leave them off? And also, what do you think now about all the, all the prime elevations being up in the ceiling? I think it's going to sound great guys. So I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment down below. Give me some advice. Give me some tips and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.